Across the country, sports teams from youth athletics all the way through professional athletes wear pink in order to raise awareness for breast cancer. Here in our area, the Marian Catholic volleyball team held their annual breast cancer awareness game, but they did more than just wear a pink uniform, as the team made a special presentation prior to the game. We donated chemo tote bags to Geisinger Pottsville Cancer Clinic. These bags are given to the patients after they are informed of their plan of chemo. Inside the bags are items needed for their th therapy, such as blankets, socks, candy, tissues, hand sanitizer, and a book and puzzles. We do this chemo awareness event yearly to help raise money. We also sell pink shirts, like I'm wearing now, and raffle tickets. We are also donating a celebration bell to the Geisinger Hazelton Cancer Clinic. The bell is rung after a patient has completed their course of chemotherapy. It is rung to celebrate the good news of remission or completion of chemotherapy. We do this event because many people in our community are affected by cancer and we want to show our support by raising money and awareness. That presentation wasn't the only nice thing that was done prior to the game. So tonight we'll have, as soon as you walk into the gym, we have a basket raffle, which those proceeds help with the chemo uh, bell, the chemo bags, and the patients we're donating to. And also tonight we're going to honor um, someone that's close to one of our uh, players. So we'll, in between our JV and varsity game, we'll honor them, we'll present them with flowers and a gift from the team. Following a great pregame ceremony, the Marion Catholic Phillies took on the Lady Crimson Tide of Pottsville. When the game was all said and done, Pottsville took home the win by sweeping Marion in three very close sets. But in all reality, there were no losers at the end of the night. In sports, wins and losses are important, but they're not as important as the lessons that you learn along the way. And that's exactly what this game is all about. It's a learning experience. Everything that we try to do here is, is we try to teach life. You know, and life skills, and, and this, is, this is part of life. You know, this is something you're going to face, and, and then also you want to do good and you want to help, and that's the important thing. I think that we have a very great group of girls, and they will do anything it takes to give back to the communities that they live in, and I just th think it talks to their maturity and their emotional level that this game means so much to them. Every year, the Digging for a Cause Pink Out game just means a lot. It's a very emotional night for everyone in the room, especially our players. In the days following the game, the Phillies would go to the Geisinger Cancer Clinic in Hazleton to physically drop off the bell and the chemo tote bags, which the clinic was happy to receive. The booster club asked if anybody have anything local. I just threw our ideas out because we love to always have some donations, and they jumped right on it, and they gave so much back to the community. And I think that's a great thing for the students to see that you give back, uh, and they are, they're not at need, and not many of them even know maybe about cancer, but they made a lot of patients happy. Oh no, I mean, this is amazing based on the fact, I mean, that uh, breast cancer is the most common cancer in women in the United States. As a matter of fact, there is one out of eight women will develop breast cancer in their lifetime. So what is priceless is actually that is coming from this age population, kids within the high school that they're trying to recognize it, uh, earlier and be able I mean, to get engaged uh, with this used to be fatal disease, but not anymore, as we have proven that treatments are better and patients are living longer. Of course, all of this good that the team did can be emotional to anyone that has a personal connection to breast cancer. Marion Catholic head coach John Doc Falabell was one of those people that had a personal connection. It affects a lot of people. Uh, personally, I, as a 14-year-old, my mother lost her breast to cancer, and, and I've always, you know, carried what she went through for the rest of my life. And, and in the profession I'm in, in dentistry, I, I, a lot of patients. I've lost patients over the years. I've, I've seen things, you know, people struggle. So you, you try to do something to help, okay? And, and that's what this is for. We raise the money, we give it to someone local to help them with it, some gas money to, you know, something like the bags that they were talking about and the uh, ringing the bell. I thought that was one of the most wonderful things on the last day of, of chemotherapy. So we just like to help get back to the community, and it's it's a good project. It's it's a way for the girls to learn and, and to become better people, and they all live through this in you know in their own lives with mothers, grandmothers, aunts, uncles that are you know that get breast cancer. 
The doctors from the clinic say that breast cancer is the number one form of cancer for women in the United States, and it also affects 1% of men in the country. They also have not only seen firsthand how the disease affects people that are going through it, but they have also seen the strides in fighting breast cancer and helping people live longer. They believe that awareness efforts like this volleyball game are extremely important in the fight against breast cancer. Yeah, well, that's what it's all about. Uh, uh, early diagnosis often results in uh, much better outcomes. Uh, and the only way you're going to have early diagnosis is to have people aware of the fact that this disease exists and that it's imminently treatable if you find it early. It's very important because actually, to tell you the truth, we need more research. Uh, and because of that, I mean, you know, money is very important as well. Uh, not just in breast cancer, but any type of cancer. So uh, the same awareness that uh, the patients and families have when they're diagnosed with breast cancer, it's amazing how the community is supporting them as well. And one of the biggest areas of success from these types of events come from the leaps and bounds in breast cancer research. Oh, it's been a revolution in regard to what we're able to do for patients now that we couldn't do before. Uh, we know more about the enemy itself. We know about the molecular biology of cancer. And by knowing that, we can design treatment strategies that result in better outcomes. And a lot of the monies that came from these organizations uh, went into the research that allowed us to get this information. And as always, it's important for us to keep fighting all forms of cancer every second of the year. Reporting for SSB TV News, I'm John Eric Poli.